Merry Christmas, baby. Reindeer's coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. Merry Christmas, honey. The snowman's dusting off his hat Putting on the show for everybody To give them a smile that lasts another year There's something that happens with sleigh There's a ring in the Hi everyone, how are you all doing? I hope you are really well and enjoying the lead up to Christmas and all of the festivities. I actually feel in such a Christmassy mood. I think it's because I did film my tree up quite early and I've been listening to Christmas music, watching Christmas films for a little while, so I do feel in fully festive mode. Um, so yeah, I hope you are all doing really well. I've been filming some beauty content this morning, including this little hairdo. Let me see if I can, you just have to like ignore all of the mess, but let me just see if I can turn around and show you my cute little bow. It's actually on a hair clip and I made it, so I'll pop in the video of how I just did that, but that was really easy. I had this ribbon left over from doing the decorations and I just popped it on a little clip. So yeah, I'll insert that if you want to do a cute little bow this Christmas. I'm gonna make myself a nice coffee as the next thing to do and then I want to sit down. I just wanted to talk through some festive outfits that I've been wearing and that I've put together and not just festive outfits, like there is some sequins and and more party-ish outfits. But I feel like if you're not that much of a party girl or that much of a dressy girl, you are safe with me because the looks I've put together are, they're dressy, but they're not like mini dresses, if that makes sense. Like there's a lot of trousers, a lot of jumpers, a lot of knitwear still. So it's like got festive nods, but it's still comfy. We've got to be comfortable. That's the main thing. We want to eat the food. We want to feel comfortable. So I want to show you some of those and also some just casual, like kind of wintry outfits that would be nice for Christmas markets or just just now. Get all of the clothes together, sit down and show you those. But first of all, I wanted to take you back to last week. Um, me, Tom and Bertie went on a little holiday to the Cotswolds. We did three days. We did Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Um, we booked a little cozy cottage and it was so nice. I feel like it was really what we needed, just a little break away from home. It's only like an hour and a half away, like it's not that far. We've been before, um, but we haven't been in the winter. We normally go in the summer. So I thought it'd be quite cute to go at Christmas and just have some like quiet cozy days we visited lots of the little villages just had movie nights at home we had a really nice pub roast just that kind of really cozy chilled vibe i took loads of footage of what we got up to where we went where we stayed and all that kind of stuff so i'm going to put that in now and leave you with a little cotswold trip while I make a coffee and then I'll see you the other side for outfits. Actually, before I go, I wanted to just quickly show two lip products. If you are still looking for Christmas presents for yourself or like people are asking you what you would like, these would absolutely be on my wish list. So the Dior Lip Glow Oil, they are so moisturizing and glossy, but not sticky at all. They feel so nice and I just love wearing them. And then obviously this is probably being like one of my, if not my favorite beauty product of the entire year. It's the Hourglass Glossy Balm, my favorite shades. This is Slip, I think, yes. This is Slip. 
Mist is really nice as well. Mist is a bit lighter. There's one called Sense. Because they're quite sheer, I feel like any of the colours work. They're not like solid lipsticks. They're just such a nice sheer wash of colour. Super moisturising, hydrating. Again, no stickiness. We don't want sticky lips. <laughs> Just checked into our Airbnb. I'll show you the rest of the house in the morning. But before um, I unpack fully up here, I thought I would show you the top. Sorry, <laughs> I'm out of breath. There's three levels of this floor. There's a bathroom in there. And I love this bedroom so much. I love those big lamps. There's so many lovely tables and side tables and loads of lovely decorative accessories i actually just come up here to put my pajamas up here i bought both of my mika christmas pajamas i can't wait to wear and then this is such a nice little area here as well hello i'll leave the airbnb linked below and they have um an interior shop here in morton and marsh as well it's owned by i can't remember the name of it but they've got a shop as well so i think all the things in the airbnb you can buy i've seen loads of lovely things so i think we might go to the shop as we're here there's so many nice little areas i love this i really love these like just bare wooden floors i'm making myself right at home i've got my slippers on already um but i love like yeah just the bare floor with the rug over it this little window bertie's been sat here <laughs> looking out is like the perfect height for him we got this box of chocolates and i bought it we hadn't opened it i bought it for to enjoy here that is actually insane that is the biggest box of chocolates i think i've ever had Oh my god. You can smell it. You can. It's so strong, isn't it?
away we had a couple of movie nights in the cottage which was so cozy and one of the films that we watched I'd actually already watched it but I wanted Tom to watch it and I wanted to watch it again was the newer Sky Cinema film Genie which is now available on Sky Cinema and if you've watched Love Actually or Notting Hill and enjoyed those. They were by Richard Curtis who has now done Genie and this is his first family friendly film actually and it is so good. It's heartwarming, it's funny, it's very wholesome. It's got Melissa McCarthy, she plays a genie and there's Papa Esidu as well. Actually it was really cool to have two main characters, one that was British and one that was American. It's set in New York, it's a Christmas film. I love Christmas films set in New York, I just feel like it feels so Christmassy. As I said, it is a family film, so you can watch it with all of your family. It really makes me smile, there's some really funny bits in it. I love Melissa McCarthy anyway, she's so funny. Melissa McCarthy plays a genie called Flora, who helps Papa Asidu's character to get his life back on track. It's heartwarming i absolutely loved it i've actually now watched it three times this month it's just one of those easy watching happy films that i really enjoyed so please add that one to your christmas watch list i will probably watch it again because that time in between christmas and new year it's my favorite to just relax on the sofa and watch films. If Christmas films aren't your thing, but you still want to watch a new film over Christmas, there's another one on Sky Cinema called May, December. It's got Natalie Portman and Julianne Moore in. It looks a bit more, more of like a gripping drama. And Sky also have their Christmas collection, which has got so many good classics on there as well. So you literally won't be bored over Christmas. There really is so much to watch on there. It's not just Christmas films on there, they've got some of their best of 2023 films on there too. Have you watched Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris? It's so cute. Like, it, again, such an easy, heartwarming watch. Love that one. A Man Called Otto. I watched that one earlier in the year and that stayed with me for so long. I cannot recommend that one enough. That was so good. But definitely have the tissues at the ready. That is an emotional roller coaster. And then such a mixture from Puss in Boots, The Last Wish to Top Gun Maverick, Magic Mike's Last Dance. They've got a real variety on there. Really something for everyone. And for me, this is my favourite time of year. I'm saying no to social plans. I'm at home, I'm watching films, I'm eating Christmas leftovers, I'm wearing either pajamas or my tracksuit, and I can't wait. So thank you Sky Cinema, you are going to keep us very well entertained. Look at these, the cutest little Christmas mugs you've ever seen. They actually are quite small, look. They are like just the sweetest. They are the perfect little hot chocolate mugs. I got these as an early Christmas present. Um, one of, I have taken the label off of one of them so you could see. That is the name of the brand. I know that these were from a garden center and when we were away, I saw exactly the same ones, but um, it had a little gingerbread on the front instead of the candy cane. So, I feel like it's a garden centre thing, um, but they are the cutest and also came with this little milk jug and I think, yeah, it was so kind of um, my friend who bought these for me and they are just so cute. Whilst we were away, we went to the Dalesford farm shop, as you would have seen, and we bought a couple of gifts, but also bought two things for us to enjoy over Christmas. So this one is a fig and balsamic Fig and balsamic chutney. Haven't opened it yet and I don't want to open it just yet. I love chutneys with cheese, especially like a camembert with a hot bread with this. And oh my gosh, honestly, I'm so excited for the Christmas food. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna save that and take that on Christmas day to enjoy. And then we, both Tom and I love honey on toast. Really simple, but it's so nice, especially sourdough toast. So we are going to get a nice sourdough loaf over the weekend. And then we got some of the Dalesford set honey and oh my God, toasted sourdough, a bit of lure pack and set honey is like the most delicious thing. So just a couple of nice little bits to enjoy Christmas. I've also had my Christmas nails done. I've just got, this is my favourite colour on the base, it's the Dreamer Biab from the Gel Bottle. 
and then I've just got tiny little gold stars. I feel like they're actually really subtle. Oh, you can see them better there. I need to put some oil on my cuticles, but yeah, those are my Christmas nails. I also had my brows laminated recently and I just love having them done so much. It just makes, I feel like it just makes, oh, it just makes them look so good. I wish they could just like stay like this forever. I've been having them done for three years now and it's just the best treatment ever. I think let's start on more of the casual outfits and then we can work our way up to the dressy outfits. First of all, both of these outfits are with the same coat and it's a long line grey coat. This is from Abercrombie. I've been loving them this year. I don't know when they had their big rebrand, but I remember, I must have been maybe like 16. I remember queuing outside the store just off of Regent Street. It's actually still there, the store. I walk past it loads, but it's shut now. Um, they used to have the models on the door. It was so dark in there. It was heavily scented. I actually love that smell. And that is when they were famous for all of their like those big logo t-shirts and hoodies. And yes, I did have those. Um, but fast forward 16 years, Abercrombie's got a different look and I'm really loving their stuff. The quality is lovely. Anyway, I've got this coat recently. I'm wearing a size medium and I chose it in the tall length because I like these style of coats long. I put little clips of the outfits in here so you can fully see the looks. So first of all, I've styled it with some faux leather trousers and these are my favorite faux leather trousers. Again, from Abercrombie. I wear a size 10 in these, which is a waist 28, and I've got them in the Curve Love, which is so good for people who have slightly, um, I actually don't know what the official description is, but I, I've got a bigger bum, bigger thighs, but a smaller waist, so I find it hard to find clothes that fit, but the Curve Love range at Abercrombie is so good for that. Um, and their leather trousers, oh, they're just, they're just my favourite. So I've styled them here with a grey knit and some ankle boots. And this is just such an easy throw on and go outfit. And I feel like it just works for so many different things. If you're going shopping, Christmas markets or going out for lunch with friends. It's just a nice, easy, smart, casual, like no fuss, but still looking put together and chic. Okay, next up, I've also styled the coat with a tracksuit. And... At home, I just love lolloping around in my tracksuit. But if I'm going out, sometimes I just want to feel a bit smarter, but still be wearing my tracksuit. So for me, I think the answer to that is by wearing a smarter coat um, like this. I think just chuck that over and it instantly like elevates the outfit. I wish you could like feel this. It's so soft. This is my favorite tracksuit I've ever owned because it fits so nicely. The hoodie is slightly cropped, so it's boxy, but it doesn't feel so oversized. It's just so, so soft. And the tracksuit bottoms, again, super soft. They're just, oh, the material is lovely. But I think these fit really well. Sometimes I feel like tracksuit bottoms are super baggy on your leg. And obviously tracksuits aren't supposed to be flattering, and that's not the thing. But I just feel like sometimes the tracksuit bottom makes me look a lot bigger than I am. But these ones, I think, have more of like a, a, a slimmer leg. So you haven't got so much material. And it's just so nice. I feel really nice in this. If you are looking to get a new tracksuit, I cannot recommend this enough. It comes in loads of other colours. It's so nice. I cannot wait to just live in this over Christmas. And that is what I'm going to be wearing. The sizes I'm wearing in this is a medium in the hoodie and a small in the tracksuit bottoms. While I've got the leather trousers here, I want to show you a dressy way of wearing them. I think everybody should have a pair of faux leather trousers in their winter wardrobe because you can just wear them in so many ways, wear them with a jumper and trainers, ankle boots, or you can dress them up with some heels. So I've got this stunning blouse and look at the sleeves. I am obsessed with this, just like, you know when you just put something on and it makes you feel great? It's the sleeves. Look at those. This is so cool. I actually wore the collar undone, but you could do it up 
This is a really easy but feel good dressy look. Absolutely love that. The shirt is from Mint Velvet but I got mine via Very and I'm just obsessed with the feathers. There's a bit of mixing and matching going on here but I feel like that's what I love about outfits. I love to be able to find more than one way to wear things. So this stunning feather shirt, I've also styled it with this gorgeous champagne gold um, satin midi skirt. I feel like Christmas and December is such a nice time to experiment with wearing different textures. There's so much around, more than any other time of the year. There's satins and silk and sequins and feathers and just, it's really fun. But as you can see, I'm still doing it in my style. I know some people might find like neutrals and what I wear quite boring, but I like it. I can mix and match things. Lots of my clothes in my wardrobe go with so many other things and that's what's really important to me. So. I've been able to take on those festive trends like the feathers, but in a way that I feel happy to wear it. So yeah, loving this top, so nice, paired with the skirt, and I also popped it on with some gold heels. I feel like when I was wearing this outfit, this is something that Amanda Woods would wear, and I put something about Amanda Woods on my stories yesterday, and people didn't know what I was talking about. So, Guys, Amanda Woods from The Holiday, Cameron Diaz. I love it. Whilst we're talking about the satin skirts, I feel like this needs a little shout out for being one of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe this year. I wore it in spring, summer, autumn, and winter. It's really seen me through the entire year and they're so versatile in the ways that you can style them. So I think if you've been thinking about it, just do it. I would say, depending on what colours you like to wear, maybe try a black or a cream because they're just safe colours that go with lots of different things. And it's such a nice piece of clothing that has elevated so many of my outfits. Okay, so sticking with the satin skirt, we've got another look here. It's dressy, but it's not overly dressy. And I feel like you could wear this to lots of different occasions. And I've paired it with the And Other Stories mock neck jumper. I've got this in cream as well. It's just the most simple, but lovely fitting jumper. I actually got them on ASOS because I find the delivery on And Other Stories takes ages, but they have them on ASOS. I've got ASOS Premier, you know, you get the next day delivery. And also ASOS always have discount codes. So, um, if you're looking for just a really nice classic staple jumper, try these. I think they fit really nicely. I wear a size medium. They've got this high neck and it just sits really nicely. So I styled that with the satin skirt and also these gorgeous knee high heeled boots. I love this outfit. As I said, it's not super dressy and it's not casual. It's kind of in the middle. So I feel like this is a nice one um, that actually to be honest, you could wear or year round. Just to show you, this is the same knit but in cream and I wore this loads when we were in the Cotswolds. I'll pop a couple of my outfits in here. I wore it on the first day with some wide leg jeans, my Ugg boots and a dark brown coat that matched really nicely with the Ugg boots which worked so well but I ruined my Ugg boots. They got wet and I hadn't put the suede protector on them and I'm really annoyed at myself and now they're marked and yeah, so if you've got Uggs and they are not ruined, buy the suede protector. I'm so annoyed at myself that I didn't do it. When I was just talking about festive textures, I didn't say metallic. As I'm sure you have seen everywhere, silver trousers have been super popular this year. So fun. I bought these from H&M. I was so happy to get these because I think these might have been £30. And I've spoken about this before where I don't like to spend a lot of money on a trend piece, so I would call this a trend item. I have worn it a few times and I'm going to continue to wear it, but it's not something like this black jumper that I'm going to get my wear out of. Like this jumper was £45, a little, little bit more maybe than like a H&M jumper, but I'm going to wear this so much, whereas I wouldn't have spent any more than £40 or something like that on these trousers because I'm just not going to get the wear from them. My motto to myself is to spend a bit more on the pieces I'm going to wear loads because I want a higher quality, which usually costs a little bit more. Whereas something like this, the quality of these are actually really good and they were at a really good price. 
So I love these and I've styled them here with a super fuzzy, I really like this, chunky grey knit. The grey and the silver together are so nice. I love this. You could wear this with flat shoes if you didn't want to dress it up. But I've popped it on with some black heels and a clutch bag and some little like diamante. I really hate that word. I was talking to someone about this the other day and why i don't know it just feels quite an offensive word diamante um but just some little like diamante sparkly earrings and actually the earrings i think really make the outfit and just dress it up really nicely if you're a regular viewer around here you'll know that i love to go off on a tangent but because we were talking about this jumper it's just reminded me to tell you something this jumper is a mix of wool and mohair you cannot machine wash it and i had an unfortunate incident recently with a jumper that i actually washed it as per instructions on the label and it's shrunk it's tiny that like it's completely ruined and it got me thinking about it's a bit of a pain to be honest not being able to machine wash jumpers um anyway i was talking to someone about it who wears a lot of high quality wool jumpers and things like that. And I said, what, how do you wash your knitwear? And she said that she hardly ever washes her knitwear and to always wear like a t-shirt or something underneath. So from H&M, I bought these little, they're quite thin, long sleeve ribbed t-shirts. So now under my knits like this, that you can't machine wash, I pop that under there because obviously you can wash the t-shirt and then my skin's not actually touching the jumper so unless I spill something on it I'm actually not getting the jumper dirty so I don't need to wash it also this is quite itchy and wearing it on bare skin does irritate my skin a bit so that is my little secret um it's actually probably not a secret probably everyone does it I just didn't know if you've got things that need machine washing wear it like a t-shirt long sleeve t-shirt underneath and it will just save you washing knits like this because I do think where I have even hand washed knits before they lose their shape and they're just not as good after you wash them so this jumper I've worn loads and it's never been washed okay the last couple of outfits involve sequins I actually love a sequin trouser these are actually unreal these are from m and and they are quite thick which I love so you feel really safe in them if that makes sense but they're not tight and uncomfortable they fit so nicely and just look they're so sparkly and with this you could totally dress this up with like a little black top but i just don't feel like that's me so i've styled it with a chunky black jumper again the sparkly earrings and some heels i just feel comfortable cozy i don't feel overly dressy i don't feel like i've got all my flesh on show which i don't like doing I've actually shared all these looks on my Instagram already, so you might have already seen them. Um, and when I popped this one on, quite a few people sent me photos of them in this outfit, saying how much they loved wearing it. And the people who sent the photos were different ages, different sizes, and it really made me so happy because I like it was just so nice to be able to see lots of different types of people be able to wear the outfit and that's what i love about outfits like this so yeah i'm so glad that you are enjoying your sequin trousers so those ones were m s and then i've also got these ones now these are from h&m and they're a slightly looser fit these fit quite fitted with a bootleg bottom and then these are a little bit more looser but still just as nice so it kind of just depends what color you would like on christmas day i might do sequin trousers black jumper but obviously slippers um oh i might because my slippers are cream i just thought what i could do is i could wear this might be my christmas day outfit oh my gosh why haven't i why is this only just come into my head the cream jumper with the trousers that would look really nice so that might be my christmas day outfit i love that because it's comfy it's got a big elasticated waistband Right, my loves, I'm going to leave you there. So I'll see you next Sunday for another Christmassy vlog. And next week we are going to be doing some Christmas baking. I've been seeing loads of different things online. So I've saved all the recipes so we can do lots of like cute Christmassy baking. We've been reshuffling upstairs around. So I want to show you that. And there'll be loads of other stuff going on. So thank you so, so much for taking the time to watch today's vlog. I hope you are having a good weekend. Stay warm, stay cozy, and thank you. 
thank you again for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!